This card's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. What's up guys, so here is part 2 of Let's Play The Witcher. We're starting up from where we left off, which, which was asking about Yennefer around the pub. So let's get right into it. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Options marked with this triangle will make use of the axis sign. This sign influences people's minds, causing them to act according to your will. To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during the conversation, invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. Alright, let's try this. Talk now. Raven, a woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Hmm. Alright, so this gives experience, apparently. Let's keep moving. For what? What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the Sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Al Dirt Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Poppycock. Okay, that's a first word. So, okay. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, pal. So why are you here? Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Hmm, he seems like an idiot, so I'd say go back to your books. Take my advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend. No tenure to gain, end notes to compile. First soldier you seal kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. Nah. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Boots are loot. So. Yep. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. My thoughts exactly. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Right. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Of course I'll play. You will probably give me a card when I win. If I win. Oh well. Alrighty. <clears throat> Why not? 
Splendid. Here's how it's done. Do you want to begin the Gwent tutorial? Yeah, I don't remember how to play Gwent, so. Welcome to Gwent. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals and the cards are their forces. Alright, I will go first. To begin you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so use this wisely. And what do these cards... Oh! This is a unit card. The number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. Alright. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. Alright. This is the unit combat row icon. This icon indicates the row on the battlefield where the card can be played. So this is like a siege... W oh! Okay. Siege combat, ranged combat, close combat. This is ranged, alright. <coughs> unit card special ability. Some units some unit cards, excuse me, have special abilities. This guy do when we seeds expert special ability is called morale boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row. Okay, so this adds plus one. Weather cards are a type of special card. They reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. Okay, so Biting Frost reduces me melee, I guess? This thing that is, looks like half a moon. The archers. And this water thingy, siege weapons. Okay. And I have a Biting Frost and a Torrential Rain. At the start of each game you can select up to two cards to discard and redraw, but let's keep that for now and go straight to playing. Alright. But what if I wanna change my cards? Anyways, here's the battlefield, this is your side, so this is the enemy side. Yep, of course it is. During its turn, the player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Okay. Its deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability, which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. This is my leader then. Okay. Press Enter to select a card from your hand. Pr press Enter again to place it on the battlefield. <coughs> I suppose this could be done with clicks as well. Let's see. Yeah, of course it does. So let's start off with a 4. This cute tick right here. The number on the left by your icon shows the current total strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Okay. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of a round, the player with the highest total strength wins. During your turn, you can pass by holding down space. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win with the units you have already in play. Or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the rest of, for the next round. So how many rounds is this? The round ends once both players have passed. The player then compares the total strength of their units to determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded and both players' total strength is reset to zero. Alright? <coughs> now that guy plays. And he has a 4 in archery as well, with an ugly dude. So apparently this is... Oh! Maybe these are our lives? So if I win like 2 times, I take the game. Or if I lose, 2 times I lose it. So it's 4 to 4. Let's go 5 and see what he does. Okay. So he will go 6 with that guy. In that case, 
Let's add one more archer with five. And I'm at ten. So he's on nine. And... Uh, okay. Let's go all in now. Ballista. And then I guess I'm gonna put this guy in which gives plus one to the whole row. And call it quits. Yep. So he's at 14 and I'm at 18. I have one melee. So what did that do again? Sets the strength of all close combat cards to one for both players. That's interesting, maybe. Okay. What does that do? Sets the strength of all seats combat cards to one, so I don't wanna use that. Okay, let's... Oh, over here. Let's use it. So now this guy is at 10, I'm at 18. He used... Oh! Damn! Mm. Okay, I'm gonna use one more card. This one. And I'm gonna pass. Let's see what he does now. So I have two cards to play. He will go 22. He has also two cards to play. He will go 24 and win this. But now he has one card and I have three cards. Okay, I lost my life, Jim. Let's see now. And he plays first. Mm, and he has passed. Okay, let's go big. He also passed, okay. I'm gonna pass then. Oh, I made a mistake here, but anyways. Should have played the smaller one. Alright, so he has one. Oh, and I drew a card because of my ability, it seems. That's okay, dude. He can impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. <sighs> oh, I messed up. Still, I got two cards, so what does that guy do with the eye? Spy. Place on your opponent's battlefield, count swords, opponent's total, and draw two cards from your deck. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to play that guy. <coughs> and pass. Pro tips. There is no shame in passing and letting your opponent win a round. Yep, sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. Its deck also features its own heroes. Heroes are high value cards immune to the effects of special cards. These powerful cards can turn the tide of battle. Okay. Acquire more power ca powerful cards by completing certain quests or purchasing them from vendors. Mm -hmm. Well, <coughs> well, you've a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. You've got a new Gwent card. Okay. If you want to examine it, open the game menu and go to the Gwent panel. And with there... Zoltan CV. When one of your quests is updated, the notification will appear on the left side of the screen. If you are not currently tracking the updated quest, you can press V to start tracking it. Okay. Okay, so this will change the quest to collect all the cards. And yeah. Collect them all. Secondary quest. 
All right. I was about to ask about Yennefer though. Let's keep it simple. That's the last guy. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Yeah. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. He knows. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Come help it. All right. So how do you know Yen? How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. He knows a lot. Alright, so where's Yennefer? You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? I don't really like that guy. He's a smart ass. None of your business, pal. None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. And the elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Perhaps. 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 You can store weapons, armor and junk in your stash. Oh, that's my stash. For safekeeping, cope with intent, they will not be stolen or otherwise disappear. You can access your stash in a number of places throughout the world. Items stored in your stash in one location will be available in all other locations as well. Stash locations are, though, are <coughs> excuse me, are always visible on the map. Look for the green icon. Okay, I don't think I have anything to store, so let's get a move on. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> That's not very kind. Don't want your kind here. Mm, let's try to back them off. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. No, uh, you done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him. Okay, we didn't like that. <laughs> Not today, pal. It's horses. Oh. Not today, pal. That's one down, let's two down. You happy now? Let's eat some bread. Slower. I think yesterday 
guys, I bought something for food. Yep, here are your current equip items. Okay, here are the other items currently in your position. Alright. Select the tab to show the items of that type. Here you will find information about your most important character statistics. Vitality and toxicity. Okay, so this is my help. To equip an item, drag it from your bag to an appropriate slot and double click on it. This tab shows crafting components and other ingredients. Inventory tab. Oh, items for roach. For the horse. Oils, potion and bombs, and weapons and armor. Makes sense. You can toggle between large and small item descriptions by pressing the wheel button. You can see how a given item will look on Geralt, just press X. Using the preview option you can see how items will look which you cannot get equipped. Choose the order in which items will be shown, press F. To see your character statistics, press, press C. Okay. <coughs> you have a Witcher potion, but in order to use it, you first must equip it. Click on the Visible Items tab. Yep, so I have a Wolf an Hour. Temporarily lowers the required level of all items by 2. Tony Oil. 20 Toxicity and gives 5 Stamina Regeneration. Okay, let's put that one. Now you can use this potion during gameplay, plus art activate, yep, or F depending on the position. But I came here for food, and where was food? Oh, ready? Here it is. What do you say we go fishing? What do I know? Your game state will be automatically saved when you reach certain milestones in the store. Still, you should save your progress early and often on your own. The world is full of predators, bloodthirsty beasts, bandits and countless other dangers. I will save. Looking for trouble? Avoid them all! With your right <coughs> Hey now! Hey ya! Oh. What is that yellow thingy? Hey now. Sorry. Whoa. Gerald has learned from experience to keep a close eye on his surroundings and he travels, for he never knows when he'll run into someone or something of interest, a damsel in distress, a merchant peddling rare wares, or a nest of pesky monsters. Such locations are marked on your map with the following icons. Okay, so here I'm gonna be able to get quests. Let's get this one first. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Ah, uh, poor dwarf. <coughs> Apologies. Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. And we are already on side quests. Okay, let's check it out.
Don't see a thing over. Oh, there we go. Blueprints, a man's, large. Stinks of piss and vodka. So I drank. Motherfucker did the thing. Okay. Give it up. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find someone wasted. You have your horse come to you, Brazex. Right. Fishing rod, fishing net. I'll take that. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. So how am I supposed to find him if he went to the water? Talk to the boy. Dad had a sword once too. No. What? Could you Could Sorry, you ma'am. from evil? Not in here. Viper eyed Hellraiser. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Yes, yeah, so maybe across the street. Is it true? Northern women bathe but once every three moons. Gloire in ard fiend. Alright, pa. Maybe I'll find something here. Maybe not. See a thing. Leather Nordling. Step away. Nordling? Talk to the command. Loar and I say. Okay, so these guys know nothing. And the trail ends here. Does this guy know a thing? God's preserve you. Okay, suppose you went that way. He did oh, here you are, pal. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Tracks lead back to the village. My grand told me about the Swiss <laughs> boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witchman that was hunting hey, the he so poking him, asking. 
Well, he started twisting and squirming, so wham bam, they knocked his head off. Aye, so it were. Except it was some trouble. drowner that had sucked on the kid. Witcher, the had to do with it. What did the folk do? Well, they could have sewed his head back on. Word is, they laid his corpse to rest. Here's our guy. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. <laughs> That's sexy. <laughs> well, I, I get it, I get it. That's good. Downer claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I ought talk to a non human. Sons of bitches, all. And dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. I think I'm also a non-human and you just fucked it up, man. So, you're coming with me? Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Calm down, Paul. <laughs> Calm down. Now follow me. Dude is way too slow. Told you guys. I told you. The guy's wasted. Durban now. D E R V A N. Not Goidemar. What do you mean? I know what they named you at your cutting. What kind of name is that anyway? Oh, Durban. That's you should tell the black man. Durban was from Nazir. Oh, he bumped his head when he went to bed oh, and wet himself good morning. Oh, did you say? Who told you that? Uh, Chitty. Now listen carefully. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Never. And you're not to play with Chetty no more. But God, I Chetty's love red today. Me. Chetty's a little fool who'll get us all killed. I'll see you with him again and you'll regret it. Oh, he teleported. Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Now? You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nearly a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you, I, 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 I was drunk, didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. The Witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Ooh. Yeah, it was a harsh punishment, actually. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. 
You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Good ourselves our personal blacksmith boys. Is there anything around here I can use? Guess not. Oh, I can loot that though. Alright. Let's go to the board. What do you say we go fishing? Oh I took it without reading it. Anyways. So Last night, a soldier fled from the army camp under cover of darkness. The wounded man, a recruit who recently volunteered to, he to join his Imperial Majesty's service, goes by the name of Odrin. He claimed to be a Kaidweni by birth. I need to learn this word, actually. <laughs> it said King Henselt's misrule had convinced him to join the Imperial Army. He was part of said institution for a mere two days, but managed to eat and drink enough in the time for an entire regiment of dragoons. Anyone with information about this deserter's present location is to report to the garrison at once. Description: Modest stature, weary, with thinning hair. He fled in his undergarments <laughs> by squeezing out through the latrines, drainage system, and probably thus reeks like an old boar. Characteristic marks can be easily recognized by his voice, which has the telltale rasp of a hardened alcoholic. Anyone found providing shelter or sustenance to this deserter will be subjected to a summary court martial. Alright. So he stinks. This Thursday, this Thursday, all peasants living nearby are invited to come to listen to Captain Peter Sask wind lever speak on the subject of laws soon to be introduced in these lands by a writ of our most gracious sovereign Emir van Tvar Emreis. Attendance is not obligatory but every res resident of White Orchard should partake to this opportunity to learn what rights they will enjoy and duties they will have under the new order. Good folk! We no longer live in a barbarous land where every man does as he sees fit. You are now part of the great empire of Nilfgaard. If guardian law now protects you, yet it also ascribes you new obligations. Imperial forces have brought you the torch of enlightenment. Grab hold of it and your dark age will soon give way to a bright new era. Okay, so this sounds a lot like I wanna tidy up the place, but at the same time I believe they're gonna be using people a lot. That's like governments, you know? Hark, fair folk of the north, if you're yearning for freedom, if you're prepared to take up arms to defend the motherland, head to the woods. We grow stronger by the day and will soon solve an if guardian vermin that the Temerian nation will not bear its yoke without a fight. If your heart bleeds blue and golden li lilies, you will sooner die for your country than live as a slave to foreigners. Let us swear by our fathers who fell to the beasts of S at Sodom. By the souls of the dead buried at Brenna, to arms. That's pretty interesting, having a resistant... I don't know how to call this, on the village billboard. Oh. <coughs> Bastian, my brother, went off to fight the black ones. I have reason to think he stood in the great battle nearby. Oh, the battle... Okay, so the battle that Yennefer took place at was between the Black Ones and the Lily people. He's not returned to this day like many others, you'll say, and you'll be in the right. But if he fell, and I know it's like he did, I'd give him up to the ground the least. Like our fathers have done always, I'd bury him neath the barrow where our parents lie. Not leave his corpse to be ate by the corpsers prowling battleground. So I seek a man brave, able with a sword, and willing to venture out with me to find Bastien. I won't pay much, for I have not much to give, but I'm not stingy with gratitude and sure to show it at plenty. Any man willing to help look for a raised hut along the road to White Orchard, just near the bridge. I've made camp there. Dune Wildenberg. 
Good folk, I know there's a war on and every man's got trouble enough of his own, but perhaps there's one of you who could help a father in need. You all surely know the well in the ruined village and the devil that guards it with a jealous fury. And if you don't know well, come ask and I'll tell you all about it. Whoever drives that monster away from the well will get a fat purse full of gold. Just don't hurry for it's an urgent matter. For it's an urgent matter. Oh my god, my English. Odolan. This seems promising. There is much of interest to be found in the world's dense forests and fog cloud swamps. Whenever you peruse a notice board, markers, question mark markers, will appear on your minimap to indicate potentially interesting places. Check them out to learn what secrets they hold. <coughs> what do I know? There are many places of interest nearby. To see what's in the area, go to the whole map panel with backspace. Or I can just play, press M, like in most games. Every important location you have discovered will be marked on your world map. To jump to your current objective, press Tab. Scroll the map. Yep. Your current objective is marked with this yellow thingy, and available quests are the exclamation marks. Yeah. Here you can see the objectives of your currently tracked quests. If there are multiple objectives, you can switch between them by pressing V. Here you can see a minimap showing an overview of the region. Press Z to increase and increase its size. Okay, this does that. And we're good to go here. Oh! Oh, by holding the right click you can place these marks on the map. Okay. A undiscovered location. And I have to go here, I guess. Yeah. Okay, before going there though, let's see what quests we have. Secondary quests. What's your contract? Completed are these guys. Alright, so... Can I... No, I can follow one quest per... Okay. Let's do that. First, and then go... For Devil by the Well. Oh, that's far. Oh, the devil is closer though, so let's go there. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why'd you put out a notice just now? Cause earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle it's turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful ill. Can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it don't let any man near. Ignore the problem until it gets that huge that you can't. Makes, you know, yeah, people. Describe the ghost, pal. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant, what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master, if you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. Hmm. 
Should I be a good guy here or get his money? Let's... Yeah, I kind of like that guy. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now, no one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. Hey Rhodes. Hey boy. Let's go drive a ghost away. Okay, so guys, I know we haven't had any action up to now, but it's just the start of the game. A lot of talking. It will get better, I hope. No, I don't hope. I'm sure, actually. Let's go be faster again. is brimming with interesting places filled with danger or treasure. Such sites are marked on your minimap with the following icons. Smugglers! Hey, I like that. Alright. So what icons what icon is this one? Not so fast much. Oh that guy. Infamous well, a noon wraith. Wonder what it's doing here. Okay, let's read the entry first. Mystery. Entries in the bestiary provide additional information about monsters, including tips and strategies for how best to fight them. Oh, vulnerable against... nice. Press escape to close the bestiary. Necrophages, gold, spectres. Okay, so he doesn't like the Irden sign. And he also doesn't like moon dust. I don't think I have any moon dust. Or specter oil. But I guess we can use the Urdin. Something's tied the Noon Wraith to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. Okay, so I have to find the places. Let's. You have multiple items in your pockets, you can switch between them. Okay. Used. Uh, to change the bolts used in your crossbow. I don't have a crossbow. Will you attack me? Strange, she's not attacking. Yeah, that is strange. Free loot. Use A and D to switch between unread books and scrolls. Once read, they are added to the book panels in the glossary. Okay. It's happened. Folker sent the petition of our grievances against the Lord to the court of Advizima. Listed all the harm he's done to us. How he killed Johan for not taking off his cup quick enough. How he trampled our fields when drunk with Navy a thought of repayment. How he barged in during Peter's wedding and demanded his right of the first night. Now we finally got what 
we begged Melitelli for in our prayers for so long. The judge recognized our grievances and waved all our bonds and beauties to the Lord. We can finally strike out on our own. At last we can live as free men. Sounds like an awful lord. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, it doesn't have any more, huh? The first day of our freedom. Hovel's not much of a village yet. But to my mind it's better than the most fun fantastic palace. Volker filmed our home with fuzzle wood smoke to drive out evil, buried a marten under the gate to make sure no thieves cross our threshold. And then he gave me a bracelet, loveliest I've ever seen. Mother said it's a foolish to spend so much on a... <coughs> okay, miss that. Okay. Mother said it's foolish to spend so much on a bubble when we haven't plows nor hoes and that we ought to return it to the merchant over my dead body. I'll never take it, take it off. It will always be there to remind me of Volker, of how happy we were that day. Okay, so probably that Rafe is the girl that wrote that and she lost her bracelet. They say the Lord is coming to see us, that he wants to make a deal to beg us to return to the village. They say he's calmed since his son died, that he's not as quick to anger about small slights. Well, we'll see. One way or another, I've no intention to move one inch from here. Hey, I'm with you, fella. That bracelet might be what ties the woman's spirit to this place. Yeah. A man, stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there, but it's not his blood. Blood stains, barely visible. Someone was dragged this way, someone who was still alive. Palm prints in blood, small hands, a woman's. Someone dragged her out, she was wounded, fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, bloodstains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. Hmm. Let's check the house first and then check the well. Seems logical. After all, there's loot. Nothing else. Okay. go through here? Oh, of course I can. Smoking pipe. Smoking pipe, nice. I'm not sure guys if I already told you but I'm a pipe who excuse me, a pipe smoker. So this is a very interesting find for me. Damn, what am I doing? I'm leaning here, okay. <coughs> Not that way, I guess. And we're out. Take this stuff. I probably will be able to, br to break the pipe, the plates, and all of those things. And the dolls, apparently. Okay, so we're down here. New Wraith oh, won't stray too, too far from the well. Dude, I don't wanna fight you. Okay. 
I'll pass by. Okay, so I gotta fight him. Gotta fight you. Whoa, got too close. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Yeah, maybe I have to fight you. But maybe I can... Okay, I will not fight you. And I will try to exercise here by finding this bracelet. Okay. If I get too close to the well, she attacks me. Let's check this out first. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noon Wraith did this. I need to check on this rope. Hmm. Somehow. Let's not get closer than this. Try and go that way. She will not attack me here apparently. Okay. Whoa, got too close. Dang! Got here this far away, so all right. Let's run back before she goes there, and maybe. Whoa, got too close. Okay. Oh, I'm scratching here. This doesn't work. <coughs> hmm. This is getting difficult. Too close. Oh, oh dear God.
Whoa, got too close. I'm not doing nearly enough. <coughs> this doesn't work. How about action? Doesn't work. What the heck am I supposed to do? Let's see. Come on, girl. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, let's check the quest. Find out what binds. <clears throat> I don't want to defeat the Moonwraith because I can't actually. Oh, did I get too close? Whoa, got too close. I do it like this. Oh, got too close. She left. What the hell is this bug? I don't get it. Too close. I don't think, yeah. Inside here, I can kick her ass. All right, all right, we got it. She fled, but she'll be back tomorrow. Something's keeping her here. Blood stains, almost faded, but the lines taut. Something's not right. A corpse. Hanged by the bucket rope. Woman the journal belonged to. Must be. That was hard, but figuring out how to fight this. Wide pelvis, small jaw. 
a woman, around 30 judging by the teeth, left arms missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. Wide pelvis, small yeah. jaw. We saw that. Nothing Need more to here. cremate the remains. Was she wearing the... Yep. Gotta jump down. Okay, so jump. Hold C to dive or space to shoot towards the surface. Okay. Got it. And now we gotta get out of here. Lucky not to come up empty-handed. A bracelet with an inscription to Claire from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. Lovely craftsmanship, but I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good. Better do it near the well. cave here, so apparently this leads outside. Or maybe not. Should drink some more. That's where I came from. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> that's embarrassing. I went back. So, get some air. And keep on going here. <coughs> yep. This fight. Brew some wraith oil. Drink some potions. Okay, let's see how can we prepare for this fight. First of all, what do I need to fight another wraith? I need moon dust and specter oil. Can I make some specter oil? Of course I can't. Of course I can't. Bombs. No. Potions. I can't create a thing. I guess I'll fight it like this. 
because it's been almost over an hour so let's eat some bread let's go with Igne Stray too far from the well. Yep, you said that. <clears throat> and the bracelet, Igni. This is ugly. Hey, I think it worked. Erden. Oh god. Three of them. Oh, let's get some bread. Get your ass over here. Got him. It's a lot of stuff. Let's take it out. Okay, we got that. And I'm thinking, guys. We're gonna call it quits here for the second episode because we're already a bit over an hour, I think. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button in the end and thank you for having you with us. Apologies for the little turnarounds but uh, no, when you play a game for the first time without guides, things like that happen. That's part of the fun. So see you around and uh, have an awesome day, night, evening, afternoon or whatever. <laughs>